as of this recording, it is October 9th, as we're getting set for October 31st, just a couple of weeks away. It is the most dangerous night of the year. It is the Halloween purge expected to happen on that night. Monday night, Halloween night, purge night. The killer clowns are expected to rise up all over the world, and they will be delivering this massive global purge, and they'll be instilling fear in society, and their goal is to make sure that they knock down the entire globe completely and forever. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we're getting closer and closer to that very devastating purge happening on the 31st on the 31st it looks like now we're getting even more reports of killer clown sightings and i gotta tell you the killer clowns at this point in time are becoming a lot more aggressive here and we have more stories concerning the killer clowns as they get set for the purge on october 31st we're gonna go ahead and share these stories that we found as of late and well, i gotta tell you they're very very disturbing and incredibly unsettling as always viewer discretion is advised as I stated, ladies and gentlemen, the Gaming Weekly has been surfacing through the web over the past 24 hours, and we found many different stories of people experiencing clown sightings. And the worst part is, some people are actually reporting sightings near their own home, as I stated at the beginning of the video. We're going to go ahead and talk about that right now. But, I mean, this is very, very unsettling. I mean, one of the most creepy situations happening at the moment, many of these clowns are looking to do a worldwide clown purge on Halloween, and the buildup seems to be getting worse and worse and worse. These clowns are really wasting little time putting the scare on people, but right now, we're going to go ahead and read some of the stories that we found online, and well, I'll tell you one thing, these stories are really, really creepy. Uh, in this first one, it says here, quote, this happened to me three days ago. I was walking home from school yesterday and saw this person dressed in a colorful, vibrant outfit in the distance. I didn't think much of it until I realized he was getting closer and closer. I started speed walking, but I noticed he was still getting closer. He was finally close enough to the point where his face was visible. It was a man wearing a clown costume. I literally freaked and ran straight into my house without even looking back. When I arrived at my house, I looked out the window saw nobody there. My parents were at work, so I was debating whether or not to get the neighbors, but after getting a glass of water, I calmed down and went to do my homework. Suddenly, I heard something outside, and I immediately freaked, still thinking about that man in the clown costume. I looked out the window and still saw nobody. At this point, my heart was pounding. I went to double-check if all doors were locked. Thankfully, they were. I called my mom twice, but she didn't answer. At this point, I was contemplating if I should call the police, but at the same time, I don't want to be the kid that cried wolf. I went back to my room to do more of my homework, and it was quiet for a few hours, until around 7 p.m. Right around the time it gets dark, I heard another loud thud, but this time it came from my parents' room. I said to myself that there was no way it's that clown dude I was seeing walking outside moments ago. It's probably something else. I then heard yet another thud. I decided to go check and see what it was, and I entered my parents' room, and I froze. I couldn't believe what my eyes were seeing. The man in the clown costume was standing outside my parents' window, crouched below, peeking through. Once he saw me, he ran. At this point, I was crying because I was literally scared like never before. That was when I called the police and told them what happened. My mom called me and I told her exactly what just happened. She told me she'd be rushing home and the police told me how they searched around the area and the neighborhood, but unfortunately, they never saw or found a man lurking in a clown costume. Here is the second story that was found online. Me and my two friends were hanging out after school. We were having a great time and played some video games. Everything was going normal until we went outside. As soon as we went outside, we saw a clown with red hair literally under the porch. We thought it was some sort of prank, so we approached the clown slowly. All he did was just stare at us. As creepy as that was, we still thought it was a prank. It wasn't until he said in a very creepy and dark tone, follow me, everything will be okay. That's when I knew something was wrong. We obviously didn't follow the guy and ran back into the house. The three of us were shaken and extremely spooked. My friend told us that we should get some weapons just in case, just so we can go back outside to protect ourselves. At first, I thought it was a very bad idea, but at the same time, it sounded really exciting. I mean, we are kids, and us kids always are looking for some form of adventure and excitement. I agreed to it, and we all grabbed baseball bats we had stored in the garage. I even grabbed my camera, just in case if we can actually catch something. We went back outside, 
but this time the clown was nowhere to be seen. We went under the porch and it felt so gloomy and there was a very creepy vibe in the air. We all looked around, but there was no clown to be seen. My friend later yelled, guys, look. We all ran towards him and he had a note in his hand. The note simply said, soon the purge will start. I felt goosebumps all over my body and judging by the look at my friend's faces, they definitely had goosebumps as well. We walked around and saw no clown in sight. It was getting dark, so we called it off and went back inside. The creepy part was how when we went back inside and in the distance there was a guy walking. It was too dark to determine if it was the same clown guy. It had almost looked like he was wearing red hair. The same hair of the clown we saw earlier today. It's just getting creepy and creepy, but this is now the third story that we actually found online. It says, I was just about to go to bed when I heard a strange sound outside of my window. I went and looked, but there was nothing to be seen. After falling asleep for a few hours, I was awoken by a strange sound again. This time I was getting worried. What could possibly be out there in the middle of the night? I tried going back to sleep, but I couldn't. I was worried exactly what was out there. Then suddenly again, I heard a strange sound of wood cracking as if someone was walking over. That's when I knew I was not alone. I got up and immediately grabbed my pocket knife laying at my nightstand. I grabbed my flashlight and went outside. It was cold and very eerie. There was something about this that just made my stomach turn. All of a sudden, I hear a soft and very, very creepy laugh. I turned around, saw nothing. I turned to my left, I saw nothing. I turned to my right, nothing. I turned around again, and I still didn't see anything. That's when I yelled, I know there's someone out there. I'm going to call the police if you don't stop. After yelling that a few seconds later, I heard another laughter. I turned around, and this time, I see a clown standing about 20 feet away from me. He had the full clown mask with the entire costume on. I saw his pawn-pawns, his creepy shoes, and his creepy-looking eyes. He was staring right at me, and I stood there in shock. I had my knife out, but that didn't seem to scare the crazed man. Then suddenly, he waved at me, and he turned around and walked right into the woods. I have not seen that clown ever since, but I now sleep with my windows completely closed and my door locked. It's something I will never forget. Well, these are just uh, some of the examples that we've been finding online over the past 24 hours. Perhaps there's going to be a lot more stories really surfing up in the uh, web, so to speak, over the next couple of weeks. Remember, the clowns have one mission in mind, to deliver the clown-like purge, folks, and it's not over just yet. Remember, Halloween is at the end of the month, and we're still in the beginning of October. Exactly what's going to happen next, we have no idea. There are so there's going to be so many developing stories that we're going to be researching on over the next few weeks, but as of now, folks... The killer clowns are back. They seem to have some sort of grudge. They want to go against society. They want to deliver the clown like purge. They want to go and scare people. This is completely messed up. It is completely creepy. And I'm telling you, it is unsettling indeed. These clowns only have one thing in mind. Redemption. That's exactly what they want. Remember what they told me last year. They said that they're doing it because of the fact that it was society that picked on them. Well, now it's time for them to pick on us. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, you gotta make sure that you watch out because unlike last year, there are really some creepy stories coming out this year that we have not seen. And it seems that these clowns are getting worse and worse by the year. And who knows, perhaps in the future, they might just show up every month. Nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, we wish you a good night. We'll see you next time. Hopefully you can like, subscribe for more information concerning the killer clowns of October. They're returning indeed. And we'll see you next time. Yeah, the clown craze has gained popularity. Imagine you're just walking along, minding your own business. Then all of a sudden, a face like that jumps out to scare you. Well, for some, that's their worst nightmare. As the Lemon Grove Little Leaguers gear up for Sunday's game, playing ball isn't the only thing on their minds. It kind of freaks me out to think like, whoa, is there someone behind me? The girls say social media posts like these showing scary clowns who say they're in San Diego County have them spooked. This one states, we're coming for you. I heard stories from my friends that how they saw a clown and it's kind of creepy and it's just weird. I don't get why people would do that. People in more than two dozen states have reported seeing the creepy characters. In most cases, it's all a hoax, but it has turned serious in others by a man wearing a clown costume. 
And in Philadelphia, police took a 13-year-old girl into custody for allegedly using scary clowns on social media to threaten local schools. It kind of makes me concerned, like at night, I kind of feel like it's hard for me to sleep. But like if I hear something, I'm like, whoa. Or like if I have my light on, they'll see outside my window. The girls say they hope the clown craze doesn't turn violent and that eventually it will lose popularity. Until then, they plan to be extra vigilant, especially with Halloween just weeks away. I am concerned about like people around me and how they might be attacked by a clown or how I might be attacked by a clown and it's just it's weird. It's like a horror movie. There's a lot of crazy people out there that have sick minds that just like to do things for their own crazy pleasure, you know, and it gets me thinking like why? And Chula Vista police say that they've received calls from parents concerned about these social media posts. But Chula Vista police and San Diego police say so far they have not received any uh, clown related incidences. Reporting live tonight, Candace Crone, 10.